The verdict is finally out. The founder of City Harvest Church, Kong Hee, was today handed a eight years jail sentence this afternoon at the Singapore State Court. Former CHC fund manager Chu Eng Han received a six year sentence, Deputy Senior Pastor Tan Ye Peng got five and a half years, and ex finance manager Serena Wee received five years. XCHC Finance Committee member John Lam and former finance manager Sharon Tan received lighter sentences. They got three years and 21 months respectively. All six accused had been found guilty on 21 October of misappropriating $24 million in church funds, funneling them into bogus investments that funded the singing career of Kong's wife. Later, a further $26 million was used to cover their tracks. The presiding judge said he had agreed with the prosecution's call for general deterrence, but said he was mindful that did not mean, quote, disproportionately crushing sentences. He also highlighted the unique nature of this case, those found guilty did not enjoy personal gain and believed that they were fulfilling the objective of the church. As Kong was the overall spiritual leader and prime mover and driver of the church's crossover project, he should be held most culpable, the judge said. As for Chu Eng Han, the judge said Tan Yepeng, Wei, and Lam all relied on him. Both the defense and prosecution of the case made their final arguments earlier in the morning, ahead of the sentencing of the six church leaders at 3 p.m. The prosecution had earlier asked for stiff sentences for all of them. It had recommended a jail sentence of 11 to 12 years each for Kong, Tan Yepeng, Wei, and Chu. For Lam, the prosecution asked for a jail sentence of 8 to 9 years, and 6 years for Sharon Tan. A maximum cumulative sentence of 20 years could have been imposed on the accused, in addition to a fine. In response, the deputy public prosecutor listed four aggravating factors in the case, chief among them the fact that CHC, as a large registry entrusted with millions in members' donations, had betrayed public trust and the trust of its donors. The prosecution also found that the offences committed were premeditated and carefully planned, and they were subsequently covered up with numerous cunning deceptions to avoid detection. The DPP then went on to refute the mitigating factors put forth by the defence, stating that the good character of the six accused was not relevant in this case given the seriousness of the offences. Also, the argument that no personal gain was made and that the church did not suffer any losses also does not apply. On Kong's claim that he was remorseful, the DPP said Kong had not actually apologized for his role in the offences, and a confession letter he had tendered was filled with excuses in an attempt to shirk responsibility. In the weeks following the verdict on October 21, both the defence and prosecution have handed to the court their written submissions on sentencing. The defence has told the court repeatedly that the church suffered no loss and the six had not profited from their crimes. The church leaders have been out on bail and barred from traveling overseas. Their sentences will start on January 11, 2016.